There are 12 main systems of the human body operating in exacting concert with each other. Each of these systems is made up of many parts, each part serving a unique function and process. These parts are made up of many cells. Many of them are very unique from all of the other cells. Each cell ensures that the parts of the systems and the systems function properly. If any one of these systems, with the exception of the reproductive system, shuts down, you will die. If evolution was a fact, and all living organisms, including humans, arrived here in their present form through a random, non-purposed process, lacking any intelligent input, then how do we explain the presence of such complex, necessarily interwoven systems made up of many parts and many unique cells within unique functions all working in concert with one another? If they all are necessary now to be in accord with one another in order for us to live, that would mean that they had to first appear together at the same time, working in perfect accord with each other. If you say that they could have appeared in stages and then somehow mysteriously, randomly developed concert with each other, then you have to ask the next logical questions. Question number one, why? Since evolution supposedly looks for efficiency as it randomly seeks its own survival and purpose and function, why would evolution seek to make itself more complicated only to assure the increase of the odds of its ultimate demise by losing a singular system to disease or accident? And then you have to ask, how? What are the odds that even one intricate system, filled with its mysterious wonders of unique interworking cells and subsystems, parts and subparts, would have randomly evolved, only to somehow determine that it mysteriously needed to add another system, and then another system, and another system, and another system, and another system? And when did this evolving organism decide that enough was enough? And why did it decide that? And how did it decide that? Are we still evolving systems in the human body? If so, where's the evidence of that? And if not, why not? Has evolution stopped? If so, doesn't that kind of kill the meaning of the word evolution? When one considers that every square inch of the human body has about 19 million skin cells, and every hour about one billion cells in the human body must be replaced, and that the circulatory system of our arteries, veins, and capillaries in our body is about 60,000 miles long, and that the heart has to beat more than 2.5 billion times in an average lifetime in order to sustain the human body, and that there are about 9,000 taste buds alone on the surface of the tongue and in the throat and on the roof of the mouth, and that the proper function of the eye requires that you blink over 10 million times a year, and on and on and on the unfathomable facts of the systems, cells, and functions of the amazing human body go. How can these intricate details be explained by a random, unpurposed process that began in a primordial soup millions of years ago without any intelligent input. Well, it can't be explained. Not logically, and certainly not scientifically, by evolution. Until the evolutionist can answer these questions with scientific plausibility, my answer will be this. We are fearfully and wonderfully created. Our life was purposed by the Lord and spoken into existence by the power of His Word. He made this world in its complex completeness in six days. The very creation itself, including our amazing bodies, declares His glory and His power.